Welcome to Real Physics. Today I want to talk about the size of the electron and why it's so strange that it's not measurable. I mean, I have talked a lot about the, say, the size of the neutron and the proton, which are interesting numbers. And you can do a lot of speculations how to relate that to other quantities. But I mean, I always say, look at the most stable, the most important particles. These are the proton and the electron. Why is it that the electron has absolutely no measurable size? Do we misunderstand something fundamental here? Of course, I'm not meaning here it's a wave and a particle because everything is a wave and a particle. That's a separate misunderstanding if you want. But could it be that we even less understand the nature of the electron because it's not measurable? And you can, of course, mention a couple of facts here, such as the classic electron radius, which is a completely artificial number if you suppose that all the rest energy of the electron is contained in the electric field, you can do the calculation and there would be an infinite amount of energy if the electron is indeed is a point like particle. So you have to do that cut off and well that's the classical electron radius, but it doesn't make sense. And of course you have different wavelengths. You can say the Compton wavelength, but every particle has a Compton wavelength. And you have de Broglie wavelengths, which is dependent on the kinetic energy, which I said is a separate riddle of quantum mechanics. How do we imagine that? But at the same time, the fact that the electron is not measurable at all is strange. And well, some people have had interesting ideas about that, such as Oliver Konza, who is maybe known for his profound critique of quantum electrodynamics and he has hypothesized about a toroidal ring sorry and yeah you can do that kind of speculation but i guess we are missing here something and well it has a mass it has energy it's well defined you can generate electron positron pairs and you have annihilation of these but none of these effects are special to the electron so of course you could even say okay the only occasion i see is a hydrogen atom but a hydrogen atom is 10 to the minus 10 meters. It would be a factor of 100,000 with respect to the neutron and proton. So there remains something non-graspable in the nature of the electron. And I wonder if we do appreciate enough this not understanding the nature of the electron. Maybe we're still missing here something. I know this is not constructive by any means, but I mean, we have to ask the questions and I'm talking about the fundamental aspects of nature and physics all the time. If you're interested in these questions, subscribe to this channel.